All right, we're starting with the closing session now. Um, Yeah. All right, so uh, I'll start with summarizing a few of the numbers from what we had this year. Um, we had 131 participants as compared to uh, a lot more that we had earlier, either in the online session or even in tribal. But as you can understand, um, we're just coming out of pandemic, or we're still in pandemic, and we, uh, we were expecting less number of attendees. Uh, 31 countries represented 47 speakers. And again, thanks to all the speakers who came in here, uh, 53 talks, um, so quite an impressive number of um, uh, numbers that we had. Uh, we also had a training day, um, and this was mainly conducted by Elena and Saskia uh, in Netherlands. And we had as many as 100 participants, um, included 75 hours or more of learning. Uh, most of this was online. This was only for one day, and it had three tracks. So uh, science developer as well as admin track. And um, again, there are links on you know, what, what, what was covered in this training as well. Uh, the organizing committee and um, basically when we took this venture uh, we, we were extremely excited but at the same time very nervous um, and it's really great to see coming from that almost a year ago when we announced that we would have this in Minneapolis to today but uh, we have I think successfully conducted this uh, this conference um, I just wanted to call some of the organizing committee members, um, starting with Jen Vesio. Jen, would you like to call? Ennis Aslan. Bia and James are not here, but uh, we'd like to clap for them. Next time. JJ has generously uh, awarded this or has given us this as a gift for the organizing committee, and I'll give it to Jen. And if JJ would like to say a few words about what that is. Oh, uh... Um, you know, <laughs> we opened distilleries in this uh, state a few years ago again, and uh, of course, uh, we have some Scandinavian heritage in the in the state, and Aquavit uh, comes from that, and a lot of the people that are Vikings fan will say Skull, whatever, having no idea what Aquavit or uh, Skull means. Uh, but anyway, I was trying to think of something state-wise or, you know, something from the state that could go to people. Um, that's all I got to say. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> then you decide who gets to get the uh, parts of wine, right? My Venmo is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, thank you very much. And uh, thanks for all. Let me take a picture if John oh. Davis is here. No, well, no. some can somebody take a picture with their phone? Somebody wants to take a picture with their phone. <laughs> <laughs> with the <laughs> Focus on the bottom. Yeah. And one more. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I'd also like to thank our sponsors, without whom uh, 
we would have been able to have this conference. Um, you know, it could help us in reducing our um, registration rates. Um, Okay, um, in particular, AWS, uh, who are our patent sponsor, uh, board sponsors, PRJ and uh, Google Cloud. And for server sponsor, we had Galaxy Works. Uh, our prompt sponsors were Thermo Scientific and Lima Brain, as well as Tigasan. So thank you very much. Uh, next, we had, I, I already mentioned training day. We had Elena and Saskia who helped us on that. Uh, in conference training, it, uh, it was Asunta who helped us uh, in, in that training. Asunta is also the co first co organizer along with Darren Baker and James Johnson. And uh, please contact her for details in terms of um, what, what's going to be uh, happening for the next three days in the co first. And we also had a, an official photographer, John Davis. I don't know if he's here. Thanks, John, for all the work. The panel committee was chaired by Sumina Mehta and Ms. Afghan, and uh, they also had Asunta as well as Beatrice as uh, committee members. And then there were quite a few um, scientific committee reviewers uh, who they coordinated with. And thank you very much for putting up this uh, great scientific schedule. And uh, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, we had quite a few session chairs. Uh, that particular snapshot is from one of the sessions that Kerry uh, conducted. Uh, but anyway, thanks to the session chairs for ensuring that all the talks were conducted on time and at the same time there was a good exchange of questions and answers. We had quite a few speakers um, and uh, really enjoyed talk by many speakers. Uh, again, I'd like to thank all the speakers for putting in an effort into presenting their latest work uh, and again. A lot of good scientific discussion afterwards. So thank you guys, all the speakers again. Uh, we also had a lot of posters and demo uh, presentations. Um, as you can see here, quite a few poster presenters. We also had a 3D poster this year. You would have seen that. <laughs> thank you very much. You were in that poster. Uh, um, in terms of pop organizers, uh, again, quite a few pop organizers, um, and uh, we really like to thank them. Just wanted to mention that the pop sessions will continue through the evening, and that's the schedule of the rest of the pop sessions. There are four more uh, birds of feather sessions today. But uh, to all the pop organizers, thank you very much. Again. Uh, information about the COFEST, uh, as you know that uh, COFEST will be held for the next three days, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. This will be at the Minnesota Supercomputing Institute. Uh, that particular link there will take you, you know, will show you the path to go from here to the Minnesota Supercomputing Institute. It's less than a mile, it's I think 0.7 miles from here. So whatever it seems, you kind of have to cross the Mississippi to get there. There's a bridge, so you know, you should be able to get there. Um, <laughs> Uh, and again, uh, the idea is to meet at the hotel lobby at 8.30 in the morning for, for those who want to go together, while others maybe can go uh, and use that link and go there. There is lunch included, that's what I've been told. So, um, you know, so please tell the whole lunch. So. Yeah, so uh, I think most of you are waiting for this. Uh, just wanted to let you know the scavenger hunt was actually a social experiment. We, Really did not have any plans of giving it, giving any prizes. So we really appreciate people who took part in this. Um, yeah. Um, so we'll be sending a link for feedback to people who took part, and also to people who did not take a part. But like, why didn't you take part in this? So um, thanks, thanks for taking part and go with this. Um, okay, jokes apart. Uh, the nominees for scavenger hunt prize winners are Povilas. Um, is he here? Yes, Povilas Matu Savage is, is that the last name? Okay, I got it right. Um, and we also have Stephen Shank, is he here? Um, and then there was um, there's a group of uh, researchers, uh, including uh, Alex and Michelle. Michelle, Stephen, is that Wendy? Yeah, Wendy is both there too. So. So, but you know, they, they, they put in a, they put in a, 
they put in some group photographs, but there were also some which were put as uh, you know, uh, as so, uh, And then we also had, uh, you know, this is somebody who actually put in a full art of photographs as well. So now we are coming close to announcing the winner. So on the third prize was Natalie Kucher. She got. So Natalie uh, visited nine out of the possible 13 or 14 sites that we had put up on that. So Natalie, congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, Povilas, you're the second. Early and kind of made a you know put in some photographs on, on, almost on a daily basis, but he visited 11 out of the 14 sites. So, congratulations! The winner is Lucien, uh, he got 13 out of the 14 sites. And A very good uh, public transportation system. Yeah, as you, as you can see in the last photograph, he actually took it from a bus, and so it was yeah, really it's smart uh... to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done. And uh, Stephen Shack actually got on the six sites, which was pretty incredible. So I don't have much, but I have this. Not sure if he is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, so coming back to the closing session, right? So we, as I said, when we made this announcement almost a year ago, um, you know, we, uh, we were enthusiastic. We were, uh, of course, nervous, but we were really looking forward to make this happen because we really hadn't met for two years by that time, now for three years. Um, and we really worked hard towards this, as I said, the organizing committee. Uh, there were some uh, Galaxy members who put up their hand and you know, really this challenge of making this happen. We could see some leaders emerging. I mean, I definitely mentioned Jen, Subina, uh, uh, Ennis, they, they really put up their hand, uh, Asunta as well, they put up their hand and they really proved that you know, they could get the way and make this possible. So again, thanks a lot for making this possible. <laughs> We could actually get all of you here and we could have this uh, this interaction that that you know we're all missing. I mean, we did meet through Zoom and you know uh, uh, other channels, emails and other things, but you know, actually meeting somebody and talking about projects and even some random thoughts that you know, might inspire new projects is it's really, really valuable. Um, as you can see, there were moments like we had uh, like this, we would all come together. Um, there was some a really nice photograph that was put up in the scavenger hunt. I really like this photograph. Um, it's one of the scavenger site uh, hunt sites, and one of the photographs that really, really. <laughs> and this is, I mean, just the fact. I mean, I saw this actually, this this happening. So they met after three years, and uh, the amount of camaraderie that they had when they met each other was uh, really kind of captured the spirit behind this this conference. So thank you very much, everybody, for making this possible. Okay, that's my last slide. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I cannot reveal uh, which is the where are we going to have the next Galaxy conference um, without giving any hint. Uh, I'll just pass this on to the next speaker. Hello everyone, the worst kept secret of this year's GCC. <laughs> so um, you're all going to have to learn to say g'day mate. <laughs> so, uh, after being involved in the Galaxy uh, community for a really long time, 
a dream of ours has always been to um, steal the Galaxy Conference away from the Northern Hemisphere <laughs> and have it down south where everything goes backwards. Um, and uh, so yes, next year's conference will be in July in Brisbane in Australia. So, Uh, Galaxy Australia will be hosting it. We're um, one of the large public Galaxy servers, part of usegalaxy.star. We've got a team of 13 people and we've been, um, and over the last four years, we've been trying to grow the Galaxy community in Southeast Asia and, um, and places, we've been interacting with places like Indonesia and India and Malaysia and New Zealand. And uh, this is a real opportunity for us to really grow Galaxy in, in this region of the world. So we plan to keep on doing it. All right, so uh, Brisbane, in case you don't know, is halfway up Australia. Um, it's in a subtropical zone, so it's going to be winter there, but it might be winter like anyone from around here <laughs> understands. Winter in um, Brisbane means sunshine, warm weather, and uh, no rain. So, yeah. um, it's, a, it's a city of, on a river. Um, it's, everything is outdoors, um, al fresco. Um, there's lots of natural experiences and attractions. Um, we've got a whole bunch of new entertainment precincts. It's gonna be the host of the um, 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games. So there's um, some infrastructure happening there. Um, and yeah, so this is kind of like uh, where it is. We're hoping to be able to have it somewhere around here, around this, this part of the river down here. So there's gonna be ferries and and gardens and, and uh, hopefully a really nice place to come. Um, you can get there pretty easily. Um, even though Australia is far away and it took me 32 hours to get here. <laughs> um, um, it's actually, there's actually a lot, a lot of direct connections from uh, all over the world. So it should be fairly easy to get to. Um, yeah, from direct international access and 34 destinations. The um, airport's located 20 minutes from the city by train. Um, there's actually a railway station at the airport. You get on it and you end up in the city 20 minutes later. So it's actually really good. Cool, you can come catch me up from there. Um, I am going to queue two of our Galaxy members, Nira and Cam, because um, they have some bags of little gifts that I'm going to make them walk around and give to everyone. Um, these are the same gifts that I brought to Friday in 2019 when we started lobbying the Galaxy PIs uh, for this opportunity. So. Um, I've got more of those, courtesy of Brisbane City Council. Um, so once you arrive in town, and it's where I've been with you for the last 15 years before uh, escaping out of cool Melbourne, um, you will find we have things like uh, the, the dock bars that are in this photo under our one main bridge, the Story Bridge. Uh, the river is heavily used by public transport, which is great. So we have three city hoppers that pass across the river in about every 15 minutes. Uh, Thanks to some of the co-support we've already got for this conference, which is paid for by the Brisbane City Council. Uh, whoever comes will get discounted public transport fees. Uh, there'll be discounted restaurant tokens, depending on where we end up. Um, and yeah, we'd also encourage you to bring your walking shoes or cycling shoes because it's a lovely place to do both of those things along the river. Uh, as Simon already hinted, uh, and something we're quite aware of, given the well, lovely weather that it is outside right now, um, the, the average temperatures this time next year, uh, global, global warming aside, are about 15 to 22 degrees. And uh, it, it's true, most days I'm still in shorts and t-shirt uh, in winter, which is absolutely lovely. And that is our dry season. So. Uh, that bar there, uh, I've, I've eaten that. I'm not sure if it's that table. I recommend it. That's our, our street wall, so that's a lovely place to go. Uh, and one of the things I, we noted this year about GCC was um, the need to travel. You know, Zoom conferences uh, are environmentally friendly, potentially, compared to getting on planes. I think this proves that having face to face conferences are also amazing, but Brisbane does pride itself on being quite a sustainable city. And certainly when you fly in, you'll see that nearly every house has a solar on its roof. Uh, the local, the largest local university, University of Queensland, uh, is, is carbon neutral thanks to uh, its own solar farm that powers the campuses. So it really is quite a sustainable city. 
um, with a huge amount of green space, which is awesome. Uh, once you get there, all the things that we've noted from the conference here, how much does beer cost, for example, or how much does beer cost, or how much does coffee cost? Um, so there are some prices to be arranged uh, for what you'll expect when you uh, arrive. Um, in terms of things that we hope might bring you to Brisbane outside of the conference, and, and clearly the conference is the only reason you're ever going to come, and that's what you're going to say on your justification letters. <laughs> Here are some things that might just add value. So uh, local to the city, but it is a river city, so you can explore the river. Uh, the bottom right there is the Kangaroo Point Cliffs. So for any of you that are keen climbers or abseilers, that's a, a lovely location to do that. Uh, the bottom left is uh, the State Library, which is actually quite a lovely building. And the top right, uh, we have an artificial beach left over from World Expo in 88, but a, a beautiful place to come. Um, admittedly, in July, you'll find no locals in the beach, it'll all be English tourists, but you know, they're <laughs> determined to get some sand in. Um, but it's a lovely location, uh, not just far from Brisbane, and, and we admitted the slide because it's not so clear at this resolution, but within about an hour or less, uh, you have access to the bay. So we've got dolphin feeding, uh, some beautiful snorkeling and scuba diving on the bottom left at Morton Bay, uh, which is actually all four of these pictures, to be honest, but really lovely area uh, to experience just inside Brisbane. And then if you go the other way, inland, uh, well, except Wales, they're not inland. Um, <laughs> Most of those photos show you the, the lovely mountains we have. And the bottom left photo I quite like because when I was putting these slides together, I realized that uh, I actually have the exact same photo from that hill. And that hill is at Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary, which is nearly 100 years old. Beautiful location just down the river, certainly earmarked for me uh, as our conference dinner venue for next year because they'll let you cuddle a koala. And, everything else so and 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 for proof that's that's my daughter there a few years ago um playing with one of the wallabies super cute i have no idea who the other girl is so i won't claim that um, <laughs> but beautiful place and, and well worth coming so with that we hope to see you in brisbane next year we would love when we share these slides or if we've been quick enough to type out uh, we have set up a tiny url just really as a mailing list to keep you all updated about uh, how the conference planning is coming on. And thank you.